This is Eric J coming at you with Street News. No, we ain't professional and neither is this story. 35-year-old Ramey Yon have been charged with capital murder after he shot and killed a six-year-old girl for clogging up a toilet. So look, according to the reports, a downstairs neighbor said, before the shooting happened, Ray Mion came knocked on my door and he was like, oh, can you check and see if you have water coming down? Because the little girl upstairs clogged up the toilet. Moments later, he said, he heard someone banging on a car. When he looked out the window to see what was going on, it was his neighbor from upstairs with a knife in her hand telling Ramey Yon to get away from here. And Ramey Yon did leave, but he came back. And that's when I heard like four or five shots and I seen him running and people were screaming. The six-year-old girl was shot twice in the chest and later died at the hospital. A judge denied bond for Ramion Means, who was charged with capital murder of a child under 10 years old. She said she would leave the decision ultimately up to the trial court judge to determine if he should be eligible for release. Means is accused of killing six-year-old Lorian Walker on Friday in Pasadena. Her mother tells ABC 13 that she left the child with a relative for the afternoon on Friday. 35-year-old Means, originally from Haiti, is apparently related to the person who rents the apartment where the crime happened. Pasadena police say he got uh, he shot the child multiple times after an argument over spilled water. Means was vocal in court overnight and said he did not want a, a court appointed attor attorney. At one point, he started discussing the case and the public defender who was present told him to stop. All right, Mr. Means, do you want Ms. Al-Nahi to speak on your behalf right now? Okay, wait, wait, wait. So please do not speak anymore. My granddaughter with your baby, they got shot twice in the chest this morning. Pasadena police say it was a male family member who shot the girl over spilled water. Downstairs neighbor Maurizio Alvarez says they saw that family member often. And minutes before the shooting, he actually knocked on their door. He knocked on the door. He was like, oh... Can you check if, if you don't have water coming down because uh, the little girl has clogged the toilet? He left. Ten minutes later, neighbors heard... Like a group upstairs that were yelling. He was banging on the doors and uh, one of the women had a knife. And they were telling him, get out of here, get out of here. But then Alvarez says the family member came back. He went running upstairs and we just shot. We heard like four or five shots, like bam, bam, bam. And he started running and we started hearing his like scream. Bullet casings fell. We just started calling the cops so we can help them out. The six-year-old was rushed to Bayshore Hospital. Her mother heartbroken. Her brother, who lost his children in an unrelated crash Sunday, sending comfort. All I can say to my sister, I'm here for her. I'm a supporter. And I, I, can, I can imagine her pain because we both going through the same pain. Listen. What's really sad about this is the little girl was at her grandmother's house because her mama was at a funeral. Her mama brother had just lost his children in a car wreck. She just watched her brother close the casket on his children. Now her brother got to watch her close the casket on her child. Imagine that. Imagine dealing with that much death. This is back-to-back -back tragedy. Think about that. And then you think about what's going on in your life right now. Think about the thing that got you in a bad mood right now. And you ain't got to tell me what it is. Because I know it ain't worse than finding out that your six-year-old daughter done been shot and killed because she clogged up a toilet. Whatever you going through, I know it ain't worse than you picking out a dress to bury your six-year-old daughter in. Listen, y'all, this lady didn't leave her daughter with no stranger. She left her daughter with her grandmother. But unfortunately, the wrong person was at her grandmother's house. And listen, we've all been told not to judge a person off of their looks. But look at Ramion. You better judge anybody that looked like this around your child. 
Ramion is 35 years old and look like every single day of his life have been a hard one. If you dropping your child off somewhere and you see somebody looking like this hanging around, you need to start asking questions. It doesn't matter if it's a relative. Relatives kill each other too. Could you imagine carrying a child for nine months, then raising that child for six years, only to have someone pick up a gun and blow a hole in their chest over clogging up a toilet? Can you imagine that? This is the world that we living in. And these are the challenges you face as a parent. We're almost at a point in time where our children are only going to be safe with us. Because there's so many predators out there, we can't tell who is who. Hug your child before they leave out your presence. Tell your child you love them before you leave out their presence. Because the next time you see your child, they may be laying dead on a medical examiner table with a hole in their chest. And this is not Raymond's first time for getting in trouble for hurting a child. His criminal history with children is documented. It goes all the way back to 2006 when he pleaded guilty to injury of a child after he pushed the child over in her stroller. He was sentenced to 10 months in state jail for that. Two years after he got out of jail for that, he was arrested again and charged with endangering a child. Raymond should have never been able to be in the same room with this child. And to the mother of this little girl, I want you to know that the pain that you feeling today won't be here forever and you will be rewarded for your loss listen in the book of revelations the scripture says do not fear what you are about to suffer behold the devil is about to throw some of you into a prison that you may be tested and for 10 days you will be in tribulation be faithful until death and i will give you the crown of life I just want to say, like, thank everybody for, for tuning in with me, for rocking out with me, for getting through these hard stories. But at the end of the day, there's a message behind all of it. Peace.